Welcome to the Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. Bodaciously Awesome Family Show. The only show dedicated to helping parents maximize their kids' experiences and for kids to reap the fun. Here are your hosts, the Bodacious Family, Adam, Anthony, and Jeffrey. Welcome, 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 I'm that cool guy. And can, mommy has a night off. Um, and I can't imagine why already. This is already off. Can I tell you something? It's time for Animaniacs. Here, and we're zany to the max. Bum, bum, bum. So just relax. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to collapse. We're Animaniacs. <laughs> Come join the Warner Brothers and the Warner Sister Dog. <laughs> 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 just even around the Warner movie lot. <laughs> the locks in the tower. Whenever we get caught and we break loose. And then that moves. And now we know the plot. We're Animaniacs. <laughs> you should wait. You should wait. You should Thought wait. <laughs> and yak go, yak. Go, 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 go. Back up, pack some way the snacks are curious and we come back. We're in a maniacs. Me, Pinky, and the brain who want to rule the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Good feathers fuck together, sloppy wax them with their purse. Button chases Mindy, while reading the scenes of verse. Our writers quit, we had no script, why bother to rehearse? We're in a maniac. <laughs> we're zany to the. Uh uh. <laughs> oh, we missed. We're, we're, so we're merging both in. So, hey, hey, Anthony, um, what's our podcast about today? Well, actually, it's and about the Grass Museum, man. It is about the Grass Museum, <laughs> that is correct. Oh, I love the Grass Museum. <laughs> <laughs> that was a funny voice. <laughs> That's my wacko Warner. Oh, like from that one show that we're talking about today? What show was that? Animaniacs. Hey, wait. So we're not talking about the Grass Museum. Oh, God. That's disappointing. <laughs> All right. So before we get to that, Zachary, where can people find us on, on the uh, Everywhere, interwebs? period. Everywhere, period. Um, Is that like a dot com or? Yeah, you forgot the com. Everywhere, period, dot com. Everywhere you find us on dot com, Apple, Google, point. iTunes. You find us on Stitcher, on the cloud somewhere, on Spotify, but don't, not on Shopify. I don't think you know what a cloud is. Um, we're on the Tweet Machine. We're on um, the Facebook, but we're not on the IG. That's what the kids call it now. That is actually a correct statement. They also call it the Gram. They do not call it that. They do, the, the gram. That's where you're wrong. Anyway, so find us all over the place. Drop us an email, bodaciousfamilyshow at gmail.com if you so desire. Uh, well, find us and follow us because we're happening people. And then you should, they, they still say they crush the subscribe button. Do they say that? No. So crush the subscribe button. All right. What else do they say? <laughs> oh, um, should I, do you want me to give you things from 2000? Because that's what you're saying right now. Uh, whatever you're, you want to go to. Hit the like button. No, don't hit the like button. That's silly. <laughs> I want to crush the subscribe button. I have zero words. You know how many words I have that? Guess, guess, guess. Go well, ahead. You just made like 25. Eight. Because no. you just said some. Did you know that if you if you speak too much, you might actually run out of words? And if you blink too much, your eyes actually might um, hold together and you'll be blind? I, okay, well, we'll get, we're off the road. So, at any rate, back in my day. Well, well back, back, in back in my day. day. <laughs> 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 wow. Um, okay. When dinosaurs roamed the earth. But I was like, I was going to say, not even really so. Not even when I was a kid. When I was in college, there was this show that was on the on the on the TV. And this was like, yo, before it's cables and, and YouTube channels and whatnot. Uh, and it was called Something? the Grass Museum. Animaniacs. Anyway, so, and we're saying. To the next. All right, and so I showed Anthony Animaniacs when he was about your age, Zach, and, and he properly loved it. And then Hulu has decided they want to resurrect the Animaniacs, and 13 new episodes have recently dropped onto Hulu, which is one of the high fashion streaming services that now exists. Please don't ever say that combination of words in the same order again. That Animaniacs is on Hulu? No, the other one. The high tech, whatever, whatever. High fashion streaming devices, things. Yeah, nope, never. Oh, too, too late. Just did it again. Wow. So, anywho, <laughs> if you're into one of them streaming things, um, and you got like you know a, 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 a rocker or a roker or a fiery thing, I am going to take the microphone and then I'm going to shove it down your throat 
very deep so they can hear the gargling of your stomach. <laughs> so violent. <laughs> yeah, well, you deserve it for saying Anth- words like Anthony, that. Anthony, Anthony, do your nails voice. What? My nails voice? No, no nails. nails. <laughs> From Animaniacs. Oh, like these were on. <laughs> yeah, similar. <laughs> you said something more Arnold did it. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like that. <laughs> and find <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger with Jubal and you get it. Yeah. I would all the matters. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, with, so Hulu has decided to relaunch the Animaniacs, which 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 tickles me just very much. Um, and so I even splurged. I went on and 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 coughed up some a free subscription. I, I coughed up a, you know, an email for a free subscription to Hulu so we could watch the Animaniacs. Wow, I'm sure that caused you lots of pain. I mean, I I was. I just want to let you all know that no cost was too big for you two, that I was willing to do that for you as long as it was free. And luckily, it only lasts a month, so I have to watch all of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. As a separate side note, yeah, you're trying to get through all Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the same free free month period. All right, so Zach, though, Mm -hmm. Hulu also, thankfully, has the old episodes. You're able to watch kind of both And as we move through it. So let's start with the new episodes. What is your... What's your favorite part of them? The Grease... Wait... Your favorite, just in general, like just you have to go to your favorite sketch, your favorite part of the episodes. Pinky and the Brain. So you like that there's a lot of Pinky and the Brain. Yeah, every episode has them. Uh, yes, every uh, every episode of the thirteen had had Pinky and the Brain. Mm-hmm. To prove your mousy worth, they're going to overthrow the Earth. They are. They're going to try. <laughs> the same so, thing we do every night, Pinky. Try, try to, to take over the world. Pinky, are you pondering what I'm pondering? Sure. I think so, Brain, but I don't think pantyhose is very comfortable in the summer. <laughs> Again. Sounds like Bear Grylls, just slightly more mousy. Yeah, similar, similar. But, okay, so you like a lot of Pinky and the Brain, because I have, was always a, you know, the Warners were always my favorite of the show characters. Um, I can sing the Pinky and the Brain intro. But we'll get to it. Um, um, Anthony, as someone who watched kind of the old shows, at least more of them, Zach's been trying to get through them now, and the new ones, give me some juxtaposition. What do you like about the new ones, that maybe, or, or the old ones? Well, I think that they need to bring the Good Feathers back because they were always my favorite. The Good Feathers were your favorite? Yeah. Solid, solid. I I agree. Wait. Or I, good idea, bad idea, or both. Oh, bring good. back both. Bring back all of them. Um. So when we, I watched a couple, and I want them to bring back Good Feathers, Good Idea, Bad Idea, and Slappy the Squirrel. Slappy Squirrel? Yeah. I mean, you might be the only person who wants Slappy Squirrel back. Only like one episode. Fair it's enough. Funny. I didn't mind Slappy, but yeah, it, 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 but. So my problem with the, in the original series, right, like there was a lot of characters. And I like most of them. The only ones I didn't like, I told you, were the hippos. But they're good. Yeah. The new series, though, if there is one complaint I have, and it's a small one, but a little asterisk here, but Hulu, if you're listening, is the over-reliance on Pinky and the Brain. Mm-hmm. Because every episode was the Warners, which, again, classically, every episode had a Warner skit. And then every episode was Pinky and the Brain, and then some little wrap-up at the end. And not having any other characters, even in the intro song that says there's new characters that you know from focus group research, but there's not. But mm-hmm. to lose the good feathers, to lose Slappy, to lose good idea, bad idea, the, the real morality, the hippos, um, Buttons and Mindy, uh, Chicken Boo, all of it gone. Ooh, Chicken Boo I, was in it, I and sing, that was fun. Can I sing the Chicken Boo intro? When you wear the skies to look like human guys, but you're not a man, you're a Chicken Boo. Very good. Very good. So that's my only complaint, is that... And now, they do weave a lot of that into. There is an episode that does have Chicken Boo in it, and oddly, so and the Good Feathers are in it, all the characters are in it a little bit. Um, well, none of them actually say anything that's kind of there. Correct, correct. But they do kind of weave some elements back and forth, but that's my only complaint. Zach, do you have any complaints about the new series? I think they need to bring the Good Feathers back and the a Good Idea, Bad Idea back, but, like... They can have a lot of pinky in the brain. I'm fine with that. But, like, two Warner skits is not enough. Like, that's too much. You should only... You, like, let's say you have one episode that's Good Feathers, Animaniacs, and Good Idea, Bad Idea. Or pink... Good... I mean, Good Feathers, um, pinky in the brain, and Animaniacs. I just don't like two Animaniacs episodes. Because then it, you're just overdoing it. So you don't like the Warners in more than one sketch? Yes. That's fair enough. And it's funny, there's even a joke about that during the season 
where I think like Dot says something like how they're doing all the heavy lifting, like they're in because they're in every episode. Again, they were historically as well, but that was I, I did think there was an over reliance on them. Oh, I also have a small complaint. Well, and I think in doses it's funny, but the fact that every single episode has some sort of political commentary kind of like irks me a little bit. See, I know that was Mom's complaint too. I, well, I didn't. I don't. I don't have that same feeling. Now hold on. Like it was fine for the first few parts. But it got to the point where it really started bugging me. Because, like, the, the Trump Cyclops is one of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life. But, like, but then they have one about reporters, and then they have one about Russia, and then they have one about something else, and something else. And it's just, it's, it's constant beatdown of Barad Pulit. Yes. <laughs> Barad Pulit. <Pulitz. laughs> that was English. Not this really. Is, I don't really understand. Well, it's that's, not that good. Well, that was, and, and they actually, again, they make a joke about this. And they talk about how they need to have the slapstick comedy for the kids, but the effectively me, like the dad, right, is part of their demo. And sure, they're trying to make sure that I watch too. Um, and so that's why they bring in, I think, some of that social aspect, only because it's pop culture references that are like associated with it now or associated with a year ago when they wrote the scripts or, or, two, year, years yeah, or two years ago, right? So they try to extrapolate what's still going to be popular within a you know a, a knowledge set. And you really can't be like, oh, you know what we're going to do is, you know, we'll make... Now, they could have, you know, like, uh, whatever, like Iron Man 3 jokes, right? Or, you know, whatever, you know. So you got to make sure you try... Or, or Star Wars Last Jedi jokes, right? you got to be able to, like, kind of move forward, but find the right time period. So, I, as I said, it didn't bug me that much. I don't think it was in it as much as as y'all did, but maybe I'm wrong. It Well, it's not. And then it gets to the point where there's just a little bit in every episode and kind of just adds up. Okay, that's fair. So, Anthony, you already, you already hit this ball, but you have a, a, a time period here. What was your absolute... I think we all actually would agree. <laughs> what, okay, sorry, Zach, what was your favorite part of the show, of all the new episodes? Nil! Nils! Nils! Not what I thought you'd say. Okay, so yours yeah. was Nils. So, Nils is a new character in two different Warner sketches. He is so great, and Anthony, <laughs> my cows... <laughs> oh, no Schwarzenegger. <laughs> so, no. Nils became a new foil. So, a foil, like kind of like the, you know, the people the Warners play off of. And in the old episodes, there was always a you know, rotating door of foils, um, with the exception pretty much of uh, someone like uh, Dr. Von, Otto von Scratchensniff, who is in the last episode. That made me happy. Um, and he actually gets to have his comeuppance, and he actually gets to win one, which was really exciting for me. My calves, bazooka. And petunia. My calves, bazooka and petunia. <laughs> All right, so Zach's favorite part was Nils, who was a Arnold Schwarzenegger-like gladiator, uh, ro- ro- uh, athlete. Uh, in the Olympics, and then he actually shows up in another sketch as well. Zach, Anthony, what was your favorite part? Because, no, by the way, and, you, and you're correct. Uh, no offense, Zach, or you're wrong, but Anthony's yeah, favorite thing is said, the best thing. There is one answer, and it is clearly the Trump Cyclops. <laughs> so, yeah, they actually do a sketch on, on ancient uh, Greek gods and and, their, and 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 the Odyssey and the Cyclops that and the Odyssey. That whole sketch is great, because they have the American Ninja Warrior in, in, ha- for, in, in Hades. Hades. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, this, I think it's on the second episode. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, that, that entire sketch is my favorite sketch of the new season. Like, oh, it, yeah. It's brilliant all the way around. <laughs> Let's soak those. <laughs> but yes, when they and they bring out the Trump, Trump Cyclops, it's awesome. I also really like the first episode, too, where they do basically remake... Their opening first lines. Well, well, actually, that's good. But no, I meant the entire like Jurassic Park element to it, where they try, like they recreate the Warners, and Steven Spielberg comes in talking about how they bring back the characters. And that was awesome, given the Spielberg connection to as a producer of the show, and then yeah. obviously in Jurassic Park. That, that was nice, too. So that, those are my favorite. And it wasn't like I just picked two things from the first two episodes and then didn't like the rest. I liked the rest, but I enjoyed the entire season. I just wish there was more characters to kind of spread around. I started, I, I'll be honest, don't hurt me here, Zach. Don't throw a shoe at me. But I started getting a little bored with Pinky in the Brain. No, I said don't throw a shoe! <laughs> you gave him an idea, Zach. Yeah, I know, Rob. You, you picked it up fast. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, I started getting a little bored with Pinky in the Brain. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> They're laboratory mice. Their jeans have been spice. They're dinky. <laughs> the Pinky in the Brain, Brain. I can always get it happy again. It's going to start singing an Animaniacs tune. You must be so proud right now. And you know what's funny? So, <laughs> so, the, so before they came back on a week or two ago, I actually had reintroduced Animaniacs into the household, but through a very educational reason. Zachary, what was that reason? I was studying states and capitals, and he did. We did the Wacko Warner, um, states and capitals. 
That's right. So you were having to study state capitals in school, and you were, and you did very well. Yeah, you you got I got a one hundred. Yes. And as you were studying, I'm like, hey, watch this. And we watched Wacko Warner's um, the Fifty U.S. States and Their Capital song, which is still amazing. Da, 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 da. I don't actually know any of it. I was saying, I think you were just sort of like you were just like humming some Hamilton there. No, no, that was that's the state. Da, 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 da. Florida has Tallahassee and Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, it is. That's more like you'll be back. No, it's not. No, no, no. That's that's from the yes. No. Yes. And Columbia, Idaho. Wrong. Never. She beautiful eyes. Columbia, Idaho. Petunia bazooka. Did you say I have beautiful eyes? My cars, no, but I, when you're bazooka. Did you hear Anthony just telling me I have beautiful eyes? No. That was honestly. That's from the Trump Cyclops thing. That might be like the weirdest thing of any episode so far. Like, Zach had his tooth, like, you know, fall out during an episode, and then after that, you telling me I have beautiful eyes. But that's, that's weird. From, it's from the Trump Cyclops! My God, I think you just, like, sprayed me with spit. And you deserved it! My eyes! <laughs> My eyes blinky and blockatin! <laughs> so, Zachary, who's your favorite Warner? Oh, yeah. Wacko. I know it's Wacko. I kind of like Yakko, but Wacko is kind of hard to beat. <laughs> Can I have a pancake or a waffle? This tastes awful. That's all we got. So here's I a funny need to thing. blow my nose and when, my again, full of hose and my shoelace has a knot. When I was in, co- again, in college, odd, I actually had the Animaniacs like, CD, and that song was on it. And uh, yeah. That must be fun to listen to in car trips. <laughs> I, it's on Spotify. I found it. So, you know, like the Bodacious Justin Family Show, we're on Spotify, so is the Animaniacs uh, CD. And this is why I bought headphones. And I think we'll, make, we'll ban them for the next car trip. Can I, can I <laughs> sing the um, other thing of the song where Wacko complains? No. Aww. All right, so, Zachary, are you wishing there was a season two of the new Animaniacs? Yes, there is. Well, not right now there's not. Yeah, but, but there's there will be. Well, how do you know? Because we they know. tease it endlessly. Endlessly, Father. Endlessly. Do you think they're back new characters? Maybe. Yeah. So Hulu, if you're listening, and you should be, and we'll tag you. Yeah, because we're pretty famous, you know. Right. It's, we're uh, a pretty big podcast. I know there's a lot of other podcasts doing Animaniac season reviews. That's true. I mean, I will imagine that that's a pretty low number of podcasts really talking about Animaniac. Maybe this is the episode that blows up for us. It could be. This could be. This could be uh, our yeah, our breakout episode. Like our our viral one. Yeah. This could be like our coronavirus episode. Don't ever say that again. Which one? The coronavirus one. It's our viral one. Okay, there you go. Like a virus. Mm-hmm. Hey, you want what virus is currently ra- rampaging through the planet? Too soon. The Bonet Shelson Family Show. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Anthony, is there anything else that you want to kind of get to about this show? Or anything else we need to talk about? The... Bodacious is the awesome. Animaniacs. And about this is a side note. I am so happy you all like this show. Because uh, it... Again, not me growing up, but me. It, it, I've always loved it, and I, I'm st- watching it with you all. It makes me laugh and cry, and I, I love it. Well, actually, your question of anything I have to say. No, but there no, is no, 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 one no, no, more no, thing we have to say before no, we have Zach's random thought of the day. What but, is it? but I have to say something. Yeah. Are like we thought? there yet? I'm tired. I'm hungry. How far? All right, everybody. All right, uh, all right everybody. Hey, <laughs> we're done. Nils! 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 All right, Nils. All right we gotta go. We gotta go. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. We'll see you next week. Nils. Oh, and hello, nurse. All right, everyone, talk to you later. Bye. Nils.